and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Sejuani. We got three classic decks for our donation decks today. Uh, well, I guess two classics and then a new, I guess the, the third deck's not really a classic, but <laughs> we have Gangplank Sejuani, which is a classic, and then we have Soraka Tom Kench after that, and finally we're going to end tonight's stream with Talia um, Malphite. Uh, we're doing e evening stream here on Tuesday. Usually do the evening streams on Wednesday. We'll do tomorrow's stream. We'll have at the normal, regularly scheduled time, um, like our just our regular stream. So we're doing the e we're switching that, doing our evening stream today because um, puppy got in a altercation with another dog that bit her, and she had to go to the vet and um, have her wounds cleaned and stuff like that. So I was at the vet this morning, so that's why I didn't have the early stream. But she's doing pretty good. You can see her back there. She's just sleeping right now. I think she's going to be just fine. Um, but, you know, she's on her... She's got, like, some, some pain medication, just sleeping. So she's doing just fine. All right, but anyway, we got Gangplank Sejuani for our first deck. This is a core deck deck, and he, he uh, put this one together. He's been playing it in ranked recently, saying that he's been really enjoying playing it. And so I think, so this could be pretty fun to try out. We have a couple of kind of new-ish upgrades to this deck. We have Monster Harpoon being our third spell in this deck. So Plunder is what our deck's all about, about turning on Plunder. So it should only cost um, three mana. And then, so it's just three mana, deal five to a unit. Very, very um, efficient spell. And so our only other spells are going to be Parlay and Warning Shot. Um, but, you know, now we have this new one here. And then, of course, now we have Dreadway being 8 mana. Usually when we played this deck before, Dreadway was 9 mana, or maybe you played, like, some Riptide Rex in this kind of deck. Um, but now we have 8 mana Dreadway, so it'll be interesting to try that out with the two Bjergs that can draw our two champ champions or the two Dreadways. Wolf Rider can ramp up a little bit for them. Um, but then everything else, you know, kind of the same as old classic Gangplank Sejuani. So let's go ahead and turn on some Plunder. And let's see how this deck does over in our in a ranked. We'll go play five games. Oh right, Bjerg is four power. Right. <laughs> I'm just used to Riptide Rex, where where Bjerg draws Riptide Rex. But you're right, Bjerg is four power, so or sorry, uh Dreadway is four power, so Bjerg does not draw it. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Right, right, right. Okay, Thresh Nasus. Feels like it's gonna be a difficult deck to beat. So we can go, like, Warning Shot into Jagged Butcher, you know, and have, like, a 3-3 three, three and stuff like that. But I feel like we need to be more powerful than, like, wasting a card on Warning Shot and then, like, a 3-3. Three, three. Like, they, they have so many good blockers and everything. Like, they, like if they just play, you know, like, a 2-1, like, that's that's really annoying. I'm going to actually mulligan both of these. I'm going to keep Sejuani, but I'm going to kind of look for more powerful stuff, like, in the, you know, in the other turns. Because, you know, like, yeah, basically Doomkeeper, right? Like, if I just go... Hmm. If I would have just gone, you know, Warning Shot, make a 3-3, I guess it just trades with his Ravenous Switcher, and, and I just use two cards for that. And that doesn't seem worth it. So I should, I should have attacked turn one after they played the Doomkeeper. I should have just attacked... I could have had the plunder at one. Which is better than what I got right now. Hey, Lynn Green. Yep, doing good, doing good. Um, any dragons decks to share? Um, Everyone's a garden. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They grow up so fast. Bonus has had some pretty good combos. Yeah. Doomkeeper, Ravenous Butcher, and then, um, you know, Curse Keeper, Blighted Caretaker. Let's do this. Back 
open the door. Hey, Kordak. Puppy's doing pretty good. She's got her, her wounds all cleaned up and everything, and she's just relaxing now, just resting. I'm not sure which one to do. Gangplank or Sprayfin. Sprayfin, we would hopefully hit Parlay, I suppose. This warning shot doesn't really help us. I mean, I guess it does. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. I'll just, I'm just gonna play Gangplank. Hey, Delphinus. Okay, so we got three fearsomes. So no slay. Slay. No slay. That turns that into a 9-9. Nine -nine. So this is them not getting leveled up. Nasus. Yeah, they, they looked very confident there with that attack. Okay, Demacia Shadow Isles. Yeah, so Blighted Caretaker and Atrocity were both made a little worse, but like they're both still very good cards, right? And that's that's what they wanted to do with the nerfs. They didn't want to like Yeah, you know, as you saw like that game, like Caretaker was absolutely amazing. And um you know, Atrocity won the game, and so it's not like those cards are... It's not like those cards are unplayable just because they got nerfed. They're still quite good. Turn two... I don't have the attack token turn four. Alright, you're gone. Sprayfin. You know what Sprayfin's gone to? Where's Puppy? She's laying right here. In the background. Yeah, so puppy, yeah, how's she doing? She's she's doing good. She got she got her wounds cleaned up and um, is just resting now. She's she's gotten some pain medication and stuff, so she's doing pretty good. Quick attack. I hope they don't have Withering Rail. No, they had Vile Feast. I don't know what kind of deck this is. They do have Withering Rail. It's not like going to open attack would, you know, uh, stop that at all. Attack. 
Well, I'd say that was probably about the worst thing that could happen. But we're... What does he want from we're still me? doing okay. Keep up, keep up. Game planks at three. Makes it four. Okay, I would not say that we're doing okay anymore. Well, never mind. We got Monster Harpoon. They did attack, thankfully. Definitely glad that I drew Sejuani and not Gangplank, because the Dreadway, of course, will draw another Gangplank. So that's what Warden's Prey created the Thorny Toad. Okay, champions have leveled up. Challenger part of that's kind of rough. I must get out of here. I'll clear the way. You're safe with me. For the king. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking one drop into Sejuani. We have to draw another card. Good. Can't kill the other things anyway. I was by yeah, warning shot was definitely our best draw. Pain is it's a, that was exactly the card that I was hoping to draw. Ride onward. Oh right, that was gonna frostbite all of them. I guess I could have attacked with Dreadway also, but whatever. They just block with it. They just block with these ephemerals, so no big deal. But yeah, I guess I could have blocked with everything or attacked with everything. Forty-eight, forty-eight spectral matron. That's pretty crazy. I'll take this one. Good thing Sejuani has an ability for when it's leveled up. Find your target. I'll clear the way. We'll just frostbite all these. Alright, let's attack. Monster Harpoon. That'll do. Alright, man, what a draw there with that warning shot. We need that warning shot. 
Uh, yeah, that's true. We could have died to Atrocity again with a 48-48. That would have been a little sad. <laughs> then the second death to Atrocity. It's like I don't want to mulligan the champions, but I mean, I guess so, because like we need earlier stuff, right, in like this kind of matchup. I don't like it. Um, but I, I do kind of feel like having the mana for Monster Harpoon is important. Or just having Monster Harpoon in general is going to be important. Saves one life. Time to go. Gotta go with the flow. Prankster's annoying. Pranks are kind of annoying. We got some parlays if Teemo ever shows up. Of course, we also have Sprayfin for a blocker. Uh, yeah, should have just killed. Prankster instead of the thing that was going to attack and deal two to us. I rarely forget and never forgive. <laughs> I'll take my time. Try to get rid of one of these pranksters. Beachy Rise! Four month streak. Keep it going, Beachy Rise. Thank you so much. Second sub of the day. Attack. So this would be three out of five for Sejuani. Next round we could do four out of five. Puts them down to three. But it does a lot of damage to me. We take we take two each time because of the pranksters. It's a good thing we got rid of one prankster. So we want to find Morning Shot. Oh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You pay. I got your spirits. These are my rules. Yeah, so double... It's difficult to, to play... Uh, double parlay on, like, a Kyrian. You know, someone said, well, how we do that? Because, like, we could, like, parlay the first Kyrian, and then they could, then they could play a second Kyrian, and this gets obliterated, and so then like, our first parlay just did absolutely nothing. And so that's difficult to do. My, I guess my plan is parlay powder cake parlay, which maybe I should have gone for that at the beginning, earlier in the turn. But I figured if they had like enough burn to kill us, they could probably kill us anyway.
What will you have? It's the safest to play that first. Because, you know, of course they can have get excited. You know, like two get excited kill me if I try to parlay them. Now it's more difficult for them to kill me. So those were good those were good draws for us finding the, the tavern keeper and another parlay. Of course, Warning Shot would have been the best draw, right? Because Warning Shot just ends the game immediately. But, um, this still should do it. We also have the Crackshot Corsair. That I would play the Crackshot Corsair before attacking. You notice I, I blocked the 3-2 the with the 1-1 one, one last round. Because, you know, we didn't want to have them. Because if, if I would have just blocked this 3-2 with something else, we would have taken an, an additional 1 damage. We would have been at 5. They had that Mystic Shot in hand that could have dealt 2 damage to me. And, you know... Yeah, maybe we're looking at being dead there. Maybe they had one get excited and they wouldn't have played the Hexcore Foundry and would have gone Mystic Shot get excited instead. All right, Misfortune, Gangplank. Pretty good hand. We do have the attack token round four. We could attack then Wolf Rider. I'm not sure if that will work, but I love Wolf Rider ramping into Sejuani. We... Oh, no, that's not good. I was going to say, we need to find something else to, to play, like, round round one, round three. Drawing another Sejuani is not what we need. We need, we need something else that, for, like, round three. Right now. But, you know, we have three draws. You know, we had last... Last round, this round, and next round, we'd have three rounds to find something for round three. So I didn't think it was going to be that difficult to find something for round three. But so far, we're 0 for 2. Yeah, two health rear guard. Oh, come on. Really? We went 0 for 3? Just finding something to play on round three? No and obviously they have all that. Okay, ready. I'll take everything. So I, know, I could cast Parley right there just to get the, the plunder started. But I'll just save it because they do have like this is a deck that does have two ones, one mana two ones. Nothing but the stink of blood and, sweat. and that's what I'm hoping that they have a one mana two one. That was pretty unlucky drawing Sedwani Sedwani. Bunch of cards that didn't matter. And that, yeah, they had no one health, one drop. Four one drops, none of them with one health. Did not have too much luck. I guess they don't have any one health units. Because they don't have any after all. He started without me. Y yeah, like they usually play the yeah, the two one that burns for one. It found you. Obviously that's just attacking does two damage. The yeah, Legion Saboteur. Um usually they'll have like the 2-1 Fearsome also. Yep, went a little greedy. Keeping 4 and keeping 6. Could have Mulligan, but if we're drawing those cards, our Mulligan's not going to really matter. We're not going to win that. So that's obviously gone. They do have Zoe, so keeping Parlay for Zoe seems like that makes sense. And Babbling Bjerg feels pretty good. We just need to find a 2. That's not too, 
just need to find a two. Okay, we can we can keep three. We can not play anything turn one, turn two, and keep three spell mana for Monster Harpoon as well. Nothing wrong with that. And <laughs> there's our two. Showing up right on time on turn three. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. You'll fight or you'll swim. Yeah. Double there for the next kill. Here they come. worried about sharp sight if I go for monster harpoon right now to do five damage to this thing then they sharp sight Not a bad card to harpoon, I agree. Not a bad card to harpoon. If I play more things, it can make the rest of our attack pretty bad. They didn't have a buff spell. You say I should develop. It's just like my develops just don't do like we're not really doing much damage with any of these things. And like they play they play the five mana dragon. Like I play Sprayfin, they play the five mana dragon. It makes like the rest of my attacks a lot worse. I'm gonna attack like this, so if they do sharp side and, and block gangplank, they save the least amount of life they can. I should have just Tavern Keeper the Gangplank instead of playing the Spray Fin. I thought about that afterwards, right after I played my Spray Fin. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. You gotta believe me! Oh, you and your stories. Ready, this is the deck that's all lifesteal. Does not make our life easy. Yeah, it's a yep. <laughs> Targon decks are all life steal. Yep. Targon Demacia in particular. I never. I'll make corpses of them all. So them still being at 20, probably a very bad sign for me. Probably a very bad sign. Yes, 
can do without me. You gotta believe me. All right, can we get four more damage in, out of here? Maybe. I assume they're playing this the seven mana dragon. Screeching dragon. With all the, the lifesteal units they can have, decide not to play Gangplank. But alright, that'll still do, even with the Hush. No fight spell. Another good win. Yeah. And, you know, like, we'll take three and twos. We didn't have, like, the, the best interaction. Like, parlays were pretty awkward a lot of time, only dealing one damage. But um, there was times that they came through, especially whenever we were able to have a... Uh, powder keg letting them deal too that really helped monster harpoon was awesome for us you know killing that shivana in that game just killing a bunch of stuff um really liked the look of this card you know finally bilgewater has like a decent removal spell especially when you're as concerned about plunder as we are um i could i could maybe go away from wolf rider uh i don't know i don't know like the battle of your wolf rider yeah did feel like we needed another another two mana unit, right? Like that's that's something that kind of felt like two Fortune Croker, three w Ruthless Raider, um, you know, maybe like a hired gun or something like that, but maybe not. I don't know. Wasn't too bad, you know. I just kind of, I you know, against the other aggro deck, I got I got sucked into the trap of like keeping Wolf Rider Sedjuani. That's something that like now playing it, you know, I'll know okay, don't don't keep that again. So you know, like that's also kind of my fault. For how I kept Wolf Rider Sejuani, and so, you know, if I was thinking like if Wolf Rider was in the deck, I would make that decision. But that's not real. That's not a, a very good way of thinking. I, I should have just not made that decision. I wouldn't mind like another early card. Like I said, I don't know if it's I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's Omen Hawk or Hired Gun or um, you know Avarose and Century that can you know or Black Market Merchant. You know, like I I don't know if, what other kind of early card it would be, but I wouldn't necessarily mind another early card instead of. Four, four, you know, instead of seven fours, play like five fours and extra two early cards. Um, but besides that, let's see, Bone Skewer. Do I not own Bone Skewer, Skewer yet? Where is it at? Okay, why am I seeing it? No, I guess I don't own it yet. I don't think that this would be a very good Bone Skewer deck because it's a fast, aggressive deck with very little card advantage. So that's not what you want for Bone Skewer because it sets you back having your ally go to the top of your deck it works with sprayfin you know because you can reset sprayfin like that's cool but like any of like the other like normal things you don't want to like really reset you know like your ruthless raiders and petty officers and you know all that kind of stuff i don't i don't think i would want to play bone skewer in this deck but it yeah so it'd be like sprayfin would like grab bone skewer which would then put sprayfin back on top which could then you know it's it's like a whole lot of mana for like not really much gain I don't think it's really worth it. I think it's perfect with Twisted Fate and with decks that want to play longer. Like tw like resetting Twisted Fate so you get another card or saving Twist, you know, using this as a way to save Twisted Fate and put it back, you know, basically put it back in your hand so you can, you can get another, uh, you know, card, like gold card, red card, you know, whichever card you want. Um, I think that's awesome. I think this card's amazing with Twisted Fate. And, you know, they want to play like the long game and stuff like that. I think this is, that's more of like a defensive tool to play a long game. I don't think this goes in an aggro deck. All right, but anyway, that's going to be Gangplank Sejuani. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck um, or anything like that. Got any comments, feel free to leave them over in the comment section. All right, but I appreciate y'all for watching some Gangplank Sejuani. Thank you so much, and I will see you for the next video.